Good morning people, how are we doing? I'm in a really positive mood today. It's sunny, yes I'm wearing a jumper, but it's not as hot as it looks. Um, I am just waiting for my mate James to get into Red Hill, because I'm on one platform, he should be arriving on that platform. Um, and then we're going to head up to London, we're going to go for a nice picnic, because it's a beautiful day and I don't want to be stuck indoors. <laughs> Ironic, yet again because later on we are going to a gig, um, Daddy Fryer, which is the Icelandic Eurovision entry from a few years ago. I mentioned it on yesterday's vlog, but they went viral on TikTok for their song. I cannot wait for that gig later on. I have waited so long to see them, and the amount of people who were supposed to come and then dropped out, like my mate Alexi, was supposed to come, he's a massive Eurovision fan, like I watched it this year with him, but he's in Australia, and when I booked the tickets, he was like, oh, I'll pay you back closer to the time. But he went off to live in Australia. Great, thanks Alexi. No, I'm checking. As well as hitting 200 subscribers on yesterday's vlog, I woke up this morning with a video that's just hit a thousand views, which is such a huge milestone that I wanted to hit myself, and I never thought would happen, especially this early on and I cannot wait for the future. It's got me even more pumped and even more determined to make this happen. James, Ooh. meet the vlog. Vlog, meet James. Hello, vlog. James and I are just heading to St. James's Park. Works well with his name. I run this place. You do run that place. Well, I think the Queen probably runs that place. I get it, I get it on weekends. <laughs> you get it on the weekend, yeah. Um, we're heading for a picnic, and then we are also gonna go to the Apple Store because last night my laptop just simply would not work while editing. I think it's overloaded with the amount of content I've put on it recently. I did get my laptop fixed where they replaced basically every part of the laptop. But number one, the battery is so slow. And number two, it just takes so long to edit because of the loading. And it will load, but it won't allow you to quit apps or anything. It just will stop responding to different websites. So I'm thinking, that I need to make an investment of a new laptop with a bigger memory, quicker processor. Can remember the name for a processor there. We've just had news in that Spain don't want Eurovision if Ukraine can't host it, and we are up next. And they've said that the BBC will host it in the UK if that happens. James and I are trying to work out which venue it will actually be in. I'm up. They can use my house if they want, or your house. They can use, or maybe they can use Harry Styles' house because he's just released an album called Harry's House. I'm gonna have to take the construction game though. <laughs> Not sure what's happened to London. This weather has made people go nuts. We just went into Tesco's and there was no sandwiches or anything like that. So we're now walking around London trying to find food. We're definitely gonna find food, but we just wanted to have a picnic in a park with a sandwich and maybe a sausage roll. And uh, we can't find either. We've finally got our prep and we are in St. James's Park. We're not even in St. James's Park. 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 We're in Green, Green Park. Park. Great start to that clip. Oh. Lunch success, wasn't it? Yep. Absolute winner. Um, we are now off to find ice cream because it is so warm and we definitely need to cool down. 28 degrees in it. Oh, and I'm wearing a jumper. I think that should be the joke of this, these vlogs. It's the fact that in whatever weather, I always wear jumpers. James, did you know the Burlington house is just up here? No, that's a special fact. Have no, you been watching my vlogs? Uh, no. Oh, great. No, I haven't. It's actually the uh, smallest list of buildings in London. I'm trying to get Two through. Two telephone boxes. I'm trying to get through season three of Midsummer Murders, so I haven't got the time at the moment. Uh -uh. Wait, season three, that's the worst one.
way to the roundhouse. James, how excited are you for Daddy Fryer? Oh, very, very. I, this has been <laughs> in the pipeline for so long that now it's arrived, it kind of doesn't feel real yeah. that we're going. Oh, well, that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> we're both massive Eurovision fans, so being able to see a band managing to fill and sell out a venue like this in London is huge. Because um, we've now got Monoskin playing the O2 and Sam Ryder playing the event in Apollo next year, which makes me so happy to see Sam Ryder doing well. The ironic thing is, after saying earlier, oh, the tubes are actually quite, quite breezy and light and there's not many people on it, I so nearly just fell asleep on that tube yeah. because that was so hot. Really hot. That was fully, fully sweaty, needed to get off like right there and then hot. Ugh. I hate when the tubes are like that. So stuffy and like claustrophobic. But we are at the roundhouse, so all is good. They played like a few covers, they played their top hits, they got the whole crowd going for the full, what, like an hour and a half? And for a band, hour and 15, but for a band their size to manage to pack out the roundhouse and keep everyone going for an hour and 15, dancing, singing, good on them, because that was a brilliant, brilliant evening. I hope this camera doesn't die on me for my outro, but we are back in the booth. We've got one bar of battery, which I came home and my camera died. And then I opened up my camera and it had two bars and then quickly went down to one. But during the gig, my battery was going all over the place. It went from like one slither to like three, which is like three quarters of the battery filled. I was like, I don't know how that works. So I've come back and it's very, I'm guessing that my camera will die in a second, so I will make this quick and short. But what a gig, yet again. I've had such a good evening with James and we've just been sat watching a load of comedy and eating pizza, which has been absolutely lovely. I know, I said it would be a new start. I rewatched that vlog and was like, today's gonna be a new start. I'm gonna be dieting, I'm gonna go to the gym. This week's just been a bit difficult. So I'm gonna make sure that I eat as I want to this week and then next week I promise to myself, not to anyone else, I just promise to myself that I will go on this diet and you guys will see the progression through these vlogs which is something that I'm really excited about. I've been putting up a few shorts on my YouTube and they've done so well which is amazing because my following is growing, I'm now on about 220 odd subscribers I think someone said on my comments. But like my video came out at midnight and like I clicked on the button at like I think one minute past 12 and six people had watched it or were watching it and four people had already liked the video so thank you all so much for the support like but no it amazes me that people are sat there knowing that the video is up at 12 refreshing watching liking sharing commenting and then messaging me saying how much they love the video which 
is so amazing because this isn't what really happened on TikTok. TikTok was like an overnight thing where one day I had 500 followers, the next day I had like 10,000. So that was such a quick growth that suddenly I missed out on the whole kind of growing naturally thing that it happened so quickly. I blinked and it was there and then I blinked again and it had gone up. But with YouTube, what I love about it is that it's a slow growth. It's a growth that people follow you and subscribe to you because genuinely they like your video and they will keep on coming back to watch your video. They're not going to follow like a thousand people like people do on TikTok. It's so easy to follow someone and to just never see them again and to follow them to support them. But then you never see their videos again, um, which kind of baffles me that there are some people on TikTok who do that. Whereas for me, I only follow people that I love on TikTok, who I enjoy their content, who I would happily watch over and over and over again. But the fact that we've gained like nearly 40 people in a day is crazy to me. So thank you to everyone. And this YouTube journey, I'm absolutely loving. Like, I genuinely couldn't be happy with this job. Um, and just producing videos and making videos and having this camera in my hand is so much fun. My agent said to me, she was like, once you get it in your hand, you'll love it. The first day, I know I said this yesterday, but the first day I genuinely wanted to give my camera back. And I was like, I can't do this. Why would I talk to a camera? What am I going to say? So the fact that I'm currently now sat here with a small growth on YouTube, but a meaningful growth on YouTube of people who care about my videos means the absolute world to me. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming on these adventures and I'll see you later.